A warm greeting, today is Monday, October 16, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will provide an update on the forecast related to Invest 94, which has a high probability of becoming a tropical depression over the next few days as it moves towards the west-northwest. This disturbance is of special interest to the northeastern Caribbean region because global models predict that it will pass over or very close to the northern Lesser Antilles by the upcoming weekend. Over the last few days, Invest 94 has had trouble acquiring cyclonic organization. The thunderstorm activity near the center of circulation has remained quite limited, although the circulation has strengthened a bit today. In fact, yesterday, the National Hurricane Center decreased the development probabilities for both 48 hours and 7 days. However, this afternoon, the probabilities have increased again for the formation of a tropical depression as it moves over the tropical Atlantic. In the 2 p.m. bulletin, the National Hurricane Center increased the development probabilities to 40% over the next 48 hours and raised it to 80% over the next 7 days as it approaches the northeastern Caribbean region. It is very likely that we will see the development of the next tropical depression and possibly tropical storm Tammy. Global models and trajectory specialized models continue to predict a mostly westward movement for at least the next 48 hours. Then, between Wednesday and Thursday, it is anticipated to take a more west-northwestward turn. There is still uncertainty about how close or far it will pass from the northeastern Caribbean region. For example, some models project a track much farther away, passing around 400 or 500 miles east of the Lesser Antilles, while others have it passing very close to the northern Lesser Antilles. For instance, European models suggest a path possibly over the region of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico over the weekend. There is still significant uncertainty about the exact location of the center of circulation in approximately five days. This uncertainty arises from the lack of consensus on how strong this tropical cyclone will be in four or five days. Some models strengthen it into a hurricane between Friday and Saturday, while others maintain it as a weak tropical storm. Remember that, as is typical with these cyclones, if it remains weaker, it could travel more westward, but if it strengthens more than expected, it could take a path away from the Caribbean. Now, let's analyze the projections from the best global models, and then I'll give my opinion on what I believe is the most likely scenario. Let's start with the GFS model projection, which in the latest run has Invest 94 strengthening into a tropical storm and hurricane but passing at a considerable distance from the Caribbean region. The GFS model continues to be the one that takes this system farthest. Meanwhile, we have the European model, which has a track much farther to the west and projects that it could reach the northeastern Caribbean and Puerto Rico over the weekend as a tropical wave. The difference between these two models corresponds to a stronger system taking a path farther from the Caribbean. However, if it remains weaker than anticipated, it could travel more to the west and potentially pose a threat to the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. The UK model has a similar projection to the European model, with a tropical wave passing over the northern Lesser Antilles and the Virgin Islands, but not developing into a tropical storm. Additionally, the German model has a tropical storm or tropical depression crossing over the northern Lesser Antilles and the Virgin Islands, passing about 50 miles northeast of Puerto Rico over the weekend. The Canadian model projects a track over the northern Lesser Antilles, possibly as a Category 1 hurricane, and passing about 100 to 125 miles northeast of Puerto Rico. Finally, let's look at the ensemble members of the GFS model. All members have a northwestward track, with the center of circulation passing near the northeastern Lesser Antilles, but none of the members bring it close to the Puerto Rico region. This is because the majority of the GFS model members strengthen Invest 94 into a strong tropical storm or hurricane. When we compare this with the projections from the European model members, you can see that the majority of them keep it quite weak as a tropical depression or weak tropical storm. In that case, it could move more to the west and affect the northern Lesser Antilles and perhaps the Puerto Rico region as a tropical depression or weak tropical storm. It is clear that the current uncertainty lies in the fact that the models do not agree on how strong Invest 94 will become. Judging by the poor performance of the GFS model and the good performance of the European model in this Atlantic region during this hurricane season, I am inclined to forecast that the center of circulation of Invest 94 will possibly cross over the northern Lesser Antilles as a tropical storm. Remember that the margin of error is very wide, so it's important for Puerto Rico and the northern Lesser Antilles to continue monitoring its evolution. These forecasts will continue to change until we have a well-defined center of circulation. Please have patience over the next few days and remain vigilant about the forecast. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated by clicking the red subscribe button below the video and then hitting the bell for notifications when I post new videos. I hope you have an excellent day, and I'll be back tomorrow with a new video updating the forecast. Goodbye for now.